<clears throat> We're just waiting on, oh, okay. Give me one second, okay? I just wanna make sure I have the right script here because they just sent me one. Okay. okay, we are live. PC recording is done. Cloud recording right. is started. Backup is rolling. Can I begin? Uh, not yet, sir. Give me a second. Sergeant Perez, you may begin your opening. Good morning. And welcome to New York City Council's remote committee on land use. At this time, can everyone please turn on your video and silence all electronic devices? Thank you. Chairman Salamanca, we're ready to begin. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. I am a... Uh... I am Councilman Marafai Salamanca, Chair of the Committee on Land Use. Uh, I am joined remotely today uh, by my colleagues. We have Council Members. We have Council Member Kuhl, Chair Adams, uh, Gredenchik, Lander, Deutsch, Ayala, Chair Moya, Barron, Diaz, Levin, and Gibson. I would like to thank Chair Moya and Chair Adams for their work on our zoning and landmark subcommittees. Today, we will vote on several applications referred out of our subcommittees. Uh, but before we begin, I would like to recognize the committee council to review the remote meeting procedures. Thank you, Chair Salamanca. I am Julie Lubin, counsel to this committee. Council members who would like to ask questions or make remarks should use the resume raise hand function. The raise hand button will appear at the bottom of the participant panel. I will announce council members who have questions or remarks in the order that they raise their hands and, council, and Chair Salamanca will then recognize members to speak. We ask that you be, please be patient if any technical difficulties arise today. Chair Salamanca will now continue with today's agenda items. Thank you, council. Today we will vote to approve LU691, the site selection for the DSNY Queen Sanitation Garage One. This application was submitted by the Department of Sanitation and the Department of Citywide Administrative Services pursuant to section 197C of the Charter for the Site Selection and Acquisition of Property for a Sanitation Garage and Salt Shed Facility to be located at 31-11 20th Avenue and 19th Avenue in Councilmember Constantinidis District in Queens. The new, the new facility would replace an existing DSNY facility located in Councilmember Van Bramer's District. We will also vote to approve the modifications LU's numbers 696, 697, and 698 for the 312 Coney Island Avenue rezoning related to property in Councilmember Landers District in Brooklyn. The application seeks a zoning map amendment to change a C8-2 district to an RAA slash C2-4 district within the special Ocean Parkway District. A related zoning text amendment to modify height and setback requirements in certain RAA districts, as well as to establish a mandatory inclusionary housing area, utilizing options one and two, and a zoning special permit to waive the required residential accessory parking requirement. To ensure that the plan is implemented as proposed, a modification for the tax amendment will memorialize certain bulk requirements to reflect the proposed design of the building. We will also strike MIH option two, retaining option one. We will be mod modifying the parking special permit to require the number of spaces that the applicant has proposed to include. We will also vote to approve LU 699, the Bedford Avenue overlay extension related to property in council member Hedenoso's district in Brooklyn. The application seeks a zoning map amendment to map a C2-4 commercial overlay district within an existing R6B district along Bedford Avenue between Grand Street and North 1 Street in Williamsburg. The proposal would facilitate the development of a three-story mixed-use building at 276 Bedford Avenue with ground floor commercial use and residential use as on the upper floors. We will also vote to approve LU's 700 and 701 for the 803 Rockaway Avenue rezoning proposal related to property in Council Member Barron's district in Brooklyn. The application seeks a zoning map amendment to change M1-1 district to a mix of M1-4 slash R7A and M1-4 slash R6A districts. There is also a proposed zoning text amendment to establish a special mixed use district and to modify certain use regulations in a special district and to establish an MIH area utilizing option one. The actions will facilitate the development of a new building with ground floor manufacturing space 
along with community facility space and approximately 174 affordable and supportive housing units. We will also vote to approve LU702, the Mansion Cafe Tax Amendment related to property in Councilmember Kalos' district in Manhattan. The application seeks a zoning tax amendment to allow unenclosed sidewalk cafes within the C1-5 district at the northeast corner of 86th Street and York Avenue. This action will facilitate subject to a separate city licensing process for the cafe itself, an unenclosed sidewalk cafe with 23 tables and 47 seats accessory to the mansion cafe located at 1634 York Avenue. Last, we will vote to approve LU 697 and 695 for the special flushing waterfront district related to property in council member Cools district in Queens. The application seeks a zoning map amendment to establish the special flushing waterfront district, including the rezoning of existing C4-2 and M3-1 district to a M1-2 slash R7-1 district as well as a zoning tax amendment to create special district rules regarding use, bulk, and parking, and related modifications to the underlying district regulations, including the establishment of a mandatory inclusionary housing area utilizing options one and two. These actions would facilitate the development of approximately 1.6 million square feet of residential space, including 1,725 dwelling units, 1.4 million square feet of commercial space, and 22,000 square feet of community facility space. The district would include a new private road network to facilitate access to the development sites and a new waterfront regulations. In order to create 2.8 acres of publicly accessible open space, a new public plaza and a 40 foot wide shore public walkway along the Flushing Creek waterfront between 36th Avenue and Roosevelt Avenue, 40th Road. Council Member Kuhl has worked tirelessly to achieve the best possible project for this community. To the end, and due to Council Member Kuhl's effort, the applicant has committed to maximizing affordable housing on Development Site 4. Development Site 4 is the only site seeking additional residential floor area through this application and is expected to include 300 units. The applicant will work with the city and other public agencies to secure funding through existing subsidy programs and other sources of available funding in order to achieve that goal. At the time, I would like to recognize my colleague, Council Member Kuhl, for some remarks. Thank you. Thank you, Chair Salamanca. I'm very happy to announce that last night, we reached an agreement with labor groups and the applicants that will include union jobs in the special flushing waterfront district with both 32BJ and Hotel Trace Council. This was a half fall agreement, but at the end of the day, the applicants and the labor groups were able to arrive at a place that will include good paying local jobs for the fashion community. And on a grander scale, a commitment to our economic recovery at a time when we need it most. We are getting a commitment from a, from a development team with long standing ties to our community who will finally connect downtown fashion to its waterfront via an expanded promenade with playgrounds, pedestrian, pedestrian trails, and open spaces. We are getting 30% affordable housing on the rezone portion of the site on site four. Importantly, the applicants have entered into an agreement with the city to further engage in discussions over the next three years with HPD and the council to work on ways to secure financing so we can maximize the amount of affordable housing on site. Sadly, the pandemic has caused cuts across the board. So it was necessary to look to the future when we are not so set back by budget cuts where we can work on securing funding for more affordability. To name some benefits, we are getting a commitment to sustainable sewage infrastructure that won't contribute CSO to the flushing creek. We are getting workforce agreements with the Queen's Chamber of Commerce and the flushing business improvement district. And both of our larger developments at Blend Houses and Latimer Gardens. 
we are getting new youth mentoring spaces for La Jornada food pantry. And most importantly, we are getting an opportunity to provide economic opportunity to our community for the future. I would like to thank the friend Speaker Johnson, Chair Moya, Chair Salamanca, Jason Goldman, Waju Man, Genevieve Michael, Amy Levitan, John Duggar, and the entire land use division. I would also like to thank the applicants and the labor unions who came together despite a lot of misinformation and misleading rhetoric from those who would prefer nothing to build here at all. This isn't perfect. This is a compromise that will address many of the issues we heard at many public hearings to provide good paying local union jobs, affordable housing, and a host of other community benefits. I urge all my colleagues to vote in favor. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Council Member Kuhl. Um, I just wanna make a correction in my um, opening statement. Uh, the flushing, the special flushing waterfront district uh, is actually LU 694 and 695. And with that, members of the committee and members representing affected districts who have questions or remarks about today's items, please use the raise hand button now and council will announce members in order that hands are raised if you choose to speak. Chair Salamanca, council member Barron's hand is raised. Yes, I, I recognize uh, council member Barron. Uh, thank you, uh, Chair Salamanca, and to the co-chairs and to the members that are here, thank you for this opportunity. I just wanted to speak briefly uh, about the project for 803 Rockaway Avenue. It is a project that's in my district, and it is seeking to have the a zoning change. It's a manufacturing project, and they're going to be having manufacturing, which will have light manufacturing on the lower level. And there will be about 174 residential units above the first floor manufacturing. It's particularly uh, important to me that this project move forward and be accepted and voted up in our committee. It is across the street from the school where I was a teacher and an assistant principal for a number of years. It includes at the corner a project for a garden that was started by one of the teachers during back in the 1980s. She started this garden and it was maintained during that time by the students at the school. This development will have apartments for seniors, for veterans, for people who are in need of supportive services, as well as the general public. The income bands for the apartments in this project will be from 27% AMI up to and including 70% AMI. There are designated apartments at each band so that we're not all bunched up at the upper levels of 70% AMI. It also has units for the formerly homeless. And I think until we really stand as a body and say we need to do more to provide housing for the formerly homeless, we're going to continue to have this abject poverty and have working poor who can't afford to live in the city. So I'm very pleased with this project. The applicants have worked diligently. They were approved also by the community board as well as the uh, bur uh, borough president. And I'm very happy to advance this project and ask my colleagues to vote in favor of this project. Thank you. Council Member Barron, congratulations on your project. This is an exciting Thank project, you. yes. Yeah. Um, Council, is there any other hands raised? I see no additional hands raised. All right, so, so see uh, no hands raised. I now call for a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittee and the local members to approve LU 691, 694, 695, 699, 700, 701, and 702 and to approve modifications 
I have described LU 696, 697, and 698. Clerk, if you may, please call Council Member Reverend Diaz first to vote. Absolutely. Good morning. Um, <clears throat> William Martin, Committee Clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. All items are coupled. Council Member Diaz. Thank you, Council Member uh, Chairman Salamanca. I just want to uh, congratulate Council Member Koo, Peter Koo, for that magnificent project, and Council Member Byron, and I'm voting yes on all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Salamanca. I know. Byron. Council I'm trying to get my numbers straight here. I'm voting aye. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes, council member. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm voting aye with the exception of the Flushing Waterfront Project and the uh, Coney Island Project. I think those are the ones that I wanted to note. Thank you. Thank you. And just one, uh, Bill, uh, Mr. Martin, what is LU yes. 691? I don't have my notes in front of me. That is what the is landmark Queen Sanitation Garage. Oh, yes, right. So I'm voting no on the Coney Island uh, project and the Flushing Waterfront. Okay, you got it. Thank you. Thank you. Council Member Deutsch. I vote aye and all. Cool. Aye. Thank you. Levin. I vote aye on all. And congratulations to council members Ku, uh, Baron, and Lander. I know that uh, they all worked very hard on these land use projects. Vote aye on all. Thank you. Reynoso. I vote aye on all. Traeger. I vote aye. Grodenchik. Uh, with congratulations uh, to all the council members that are passing um, these rezonings this morning, especially to Peter Ku on a monumental effort to open up the Flushing Waterfront for the first time uh, in my lifetime and, and probably the lifetime of many, many people. Um, I vote aye on all. Adams. Congratulations to my colleagues, council members Ku and Barron on great projects. I vote aye on all. Ayala. Also congratulations to council members uh, Ku and Barron and I vote aye on all. Moya. Uh, congratulations again to Council Member Ku, Council Member Barron, uh, Council Member Lander uh, on these projects, and I will be voting aye on all. Rivera. Aye. Thank you. Gibson. Good morning. Permission to explain? Council Member Gibson to explain her vote. Thank you so much, Chair Salamanca and Chair Moya, Chair Adams. Uh, I too congratulate uh, Council Member Cool, Council Member Barron, and Council Member Lander uh, on their projects that are before today's agenda. I just wanted to just speak very briefly on the Special Flushing Waterfront District um, item that's before us today. I am grateful that we were able to work out a resolution due to the leadership of council member Peter Kuhl to recognize that with all our development projects, whether it's as a right or on publicly owned land, we have to do every and anything possible to create good jobs um, in a city that continues to grow unaffordable every day. 
the struggle has been very challenging for so many New Yorkers. Um, and so I'm grateful that this project will create good jobs, uh, good jobs for residents and families so they can sustain themselves. And I also hope that as we move forward and this project passes today um, in the next budget cycle before us that we work with council member cool and HPD to make sure we can maximize as many opportunities on the units of affordable housing on the rezoning uh, land uh, up to 300 units of affordable housing for the local residents of CB7 uh, we have to do everything possible to achieve that so that this is a project that does uh, meet the demands of today's residents and families but also recognizes that affordable housing and good jobs go hand in hand so congratulations council member Cool. I know this was not an easy journey for you and your team, and certainly the land use division. Thank you for all of your work, for all of the briefings that you provided to council members that don't necessarily know the area of downtown Flushing. Um, and with that, I vote aye on all. And I also want to recognize our sister on her birthday today. Happy birthday, Chair Adrian Adams. We love you. And I vote aye on all today's item agendas. Thank you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Adrian. Happy birthday. Good morning, Councilmember Miller. Good morning. On me? Yes, Councilmember, how do you vote? I don't know. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All items in today's land use agenda have been adopted by a vote of 15 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, with the exception of the following land use items, 694, 695, 696, 697, and 698 have been adopted by the committee with a vote of 14 in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. Thank you. All right. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, Council and Land New staff for attending today's hearing. Uh, this meeting is hereby adjourned.